In this video, I want to show you how you pick up feedback from your teachers and in some cases possibly act upon it. So again, we're starting off in Google Chrome. Uh, I've signed in. You can see that uh, I've signed in using my C2K EN address, both within the Google website, but also on the browser. And I'm going to head to Google Classroom. If you have alerts switched on, you will see when a teacher comments uh, or gives you feedback on your work. Uh, otherwise, you just go to the classroom where you've got the feedback and click on classwork. And here is the piece of work that I handed in. Uh, I can see there that it was returned. And I can click on the piece of work uh, by viewing assignment. And immediately what you see is the instructions that I was given, the resource that was left with me. I can see that Ms. Monaghan has left me a private comment here indicating that I should look at the comments down the side of my work. And she has given me feedback in three different ways. The first way that I notice uh, is that there's a second file here. This is the file I uploaded. I created a Google Doc, completed my work and uploaded it. Uh, but there's a second file that says that she has handwritten comments on there. So if I click on that, there. She's been very kind and given me a well done with a handwritten comment. In some cases, teachers may provide you with questions or highlight work or give you uh, information that allows you to take action. However, Ms. Monaghan has also put in some comments down the side of the work. So I will go into the Google Doc that I use. And this is why it's good to use Google Docs for handing in work in Google Classroom because it makes it easier to see the comments that are there. So there's the piece of work. It wasn't very long. And what I can see there is that Miss Mon has given me some feedback. And what I could do is if I click on that feedback, I could say, uh, Uh, respond if there's a question it's good to respond and reply to your teacher uh, in this case is an instruction to improve the next time uh, so it's good to reply you may even want to edit the document that you've done to improve it the other method of giving feedback is using voice comments or voice notes and Miss Monaghan has left me a voice note here I simply just click here well done you seem to understand the poem really well Next time, try to include quotations to support your opinions. So that was a voice comment. If you don't use Google Chrome, you won't see those voice comments and you may not even see these comments. So again, it's important to use Google Chrome. Uh, as you can see, I have an awful lot of work to do. There are no PTNs here, so I might want to go back and start putting a bit more effort into this piece of work here now. And then, if need be, possibly resubmit that's what your teachers ask you to do. So that is how I view feedback and act on feedback in Google Classroom. And if I have changed something, what I can now do is hit the resubmit button. So I might go in here and add a little comment. And I will exit out of there. And because I've changed it, I can now resubmit. And that's how I view comments and feedback in Google Classroom.